Joey Nolan. He seems to be the leader of the group. I went to school with his dad. It's hard for me to believe that he could be dangerous, but people in this town are getting harder to predict these days. Look, Sheriff, I know you're walking a fine line here. You live in this community. You're right. That's not going to stop me from doing my job. Can we bring him in? Yeah. But I got a better idea. I wish that blonde chick I was telling you about. Sheriff, can I do something for you? How you doing, Joey? I'm good. Yeah? I was just wondering where you were last night. You know, when all those red crosses were painted all over town. I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if it was you who painted a cross on Mr. Miller's door? You remember Mr. Miller, right? He used to teach middle school PE. Come to think of it, wasn't he the one who called your dad worried because... You weren't reaching puberty as fast as the other boys? I remember your dad was a bit concerned. He confided to me one night over beer or something. What was it? Sheriff? Missing testicle. Is that why you vandalize your neighbor's homes under the cover of darkness? Because you don't have the sack to do something like that in the light of day? You paint the cross on Mr. Conrad's liquor store? You're in there five times a week. You'd be the one who'd know who's coming and going from the liquor store, huh, Sheriff? Hey, you know they're dangerous. That's why you called in the army when they first came back. You know they're not like us. Not like us how, Joey? They're not natural. You mean they're different? That's right. Hmm. What about me? I look different to you? <laughs> no, go ahead. You can say it. Do I look different to you? Get out of my face. Do I look different to you? You think someone with only one stone could respect other people's differences? I want you to remember my face, Joey. You got a problem with the return. You got a problem with me. Because I'm returned, too. 